Welcome back to Morning Break. Well, has your family been in Savannah for years, maybe even decades? Well, if so, your stories could be a part of the city's historical record. Uh, Kyle joins us again from City Hall to explain how your old pictures, documents, even your voice can be part of the city's historical record. Hello again, Kyle. Hey, uh, guys, yeah, here in the research room at City Hall, and I'm uh, joined by uh, the Mun Municipal Archives Director, Luciana Spraker, to uh, talk a little bit more about this uh, ongoing community memory project where we're preserving uh, people's history. I love the idea that everybody kind of has a story to tell, and you're giving people th that voice and an opportunity to, to become a part of Savannah's history, and, and everybody can go on there later on and find you know, where they're telling their story or how they're sharing their story. Yeah, so I mean, the access is the most important thing to us. So, you know, increasing our voices and then making sure they have access to their own voices, but also other people can access this history. So, this is uh, putting things online is the best way. To, to share. Yeah, and you're, you're asking people to come out this weekend and bring hard copies, photos, documents, whatever it is that you can then digitize and then put in here. Um, kind of walk us through where folks can go online and, and find some of the stuff. If maybe they're sitting at home thinking, oh, I don't know what I would have to contribute, you can kind of give them a, an idea of what's already out there. Sure. So if they come to our, um, our homepage, which is savannahga.gov slash municipal archives, over on the left, there's a couple of different options here. Um, if they go to explore the collections they're going to get a list of all the collections so they could like do a search for you know a neighborhood like Carver Village would be under C and, and click and see what's in that collection um, going back to the home page if they click on digital collections they're going to get access to everything that we already have digitized and available online um, so when you open up the digital collections page one of the first things you see is our online digital image catalog and they can click on that and it'll pull up a random selection of images, but they can also do keyword and advanced searches. Um, and I've done a little sample search for us here um, to pull up the, the images, some of the images we collected lot this past year, District 6 from White Bluff and Coffee Bluff community. You can click on an image you'd like to see, pull up the thumbnail to see the whole um, image. Um, if you go back, it'll provide you information about the collection, description, um, and who the donor was. In this case, it was Sandy Batiste. And this is information you're getting at the community events, yeah. like, like what's happening this weekend. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, a lot of times we don't get everything on the online catalog because, you know, maybe we've collected 500 images, but we're going to do a selection from all of the, the communities and neighborhoods that we um, we have worked with. And you also have video, too. We do. So if you go back to the digital collections, again, Again, and you scroll down, you'll see Voices of Savannah. This is our portal here where we list all of the oral history collections um, that we have available. Um, again, it's listed by um, the community or the group that we were working with. Um, and if you click on one of them, it will open up the interview recording in our YouTube playlist. So example, this is Roosevelt Brownlee. He participated in our Frogtown Yamacraw West Broad Street project. And he's talking a lot in his about growing up, working with his father in the old city market. So it's a lot of fun um, to be able to watch and hear them tell their stories and, and their memories. And you know, who, who was their mentor, who was important to them as a child. Real quickly, uh, if folks can't make it out this weekend, they can still go online and contribute as well? Yeah, from our home page, if you scroll down, you'll see an online portal. And when you open that up, it's an online form. It describes kind of what we're looking for, what kind of information, what kind of documents or photos, their, their contact information. Then they can share narrative with us. They can upload uh, PDFs or JPEGs. Um, and then they'll, they'll click Submit at the bottom. And then it routes to us, and we can then process it into our collections. Well, the, uh, the community archiving event, uh, the project is going on. It's an ongoing project, but you can participate. Uh, the District 5 event is happening on Friday. Friday and Saturday, 10 to 4 Friday, 10 to noon on Saturday. So collect uh, your items if you want to and head over there on uh, a Friday or Saturday and you can participate in, like I said, become a part of uh, Savannah's Historical Archives uh, because you never know uh, how, what your story may mean to someone uh, years, decades from now uh, when they look back and see what was happening in Savannah in 2024. Tim, Becky, back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Kyle.